state who wants to open our borders and have carbon taxes to meet secretly with the traitor Boehner. So the Pope's going to meet privately with Boner. It is truly sickening. That's all coming up. I was thinking during that 70-second break as we ended the last hour why I'm so crazed. I'm sitting on a dock bass fishing. I'm like a sweet old man. I'm out barbecuing with the family. I'm a cupcake. But when I read about how they put fluoride in the water to brain damages and create cancer and lower fertility in their own documents, when I sit here and realize they're funding ISIS and Al-Qaeda to run around murdering Christians everywhere and make them pay Islam taxes, there's not one word out of the stinking controlled left media that dreams of having their daughters sexually mutilated by jihadis, literally. They have a fetish for it. It's cuckolding. They don't like the real liberal culture of the West that gave them the right to run around and do all this stuff. They just want to destroy it. Like mount its head on the wall, even though it's their head. It's, it's a payback. <sighs> What's the... Egyptian legend of the one demigod that goes after his father because he thinks he's doing evil until he finally gets in the position of power and then realizes that the end justifies the means. It's, it's all just fraudulent thought processes. But I take ownership and empathize with all the innocents being murdered by the globalists and all the crises they're creating. And I want to do something about it, not just look at the end result that they'll show us and then say, give us more power. I look at how they engineered it, and then at a fundamental cellular level, I get upset about it. And I know you resonate as well. This is setting brush fires in the minds of men, to quote Thomas Jefferson. Finland to raise taxes on the wealthy, even though they already have like an 80 plus percent tax, to cover refugee costs. Please print that little jewel for me. That's a little bit less intrusive than Sweden saying they're going to make people house the jihadis in your house. And they're telling Germans, German women don't wear short skirts anymore. Oh, man, I tell you. You talk about a death wish. But see, the, in the criminals that run Europe that have hijacked it, can get away with this, they can get away with anything. So it's not just a fetish to smear garbage all over Europe. I got stacks of articles of women being pulled out of cars, raped, children being raped. They're like, well, that's part of the radical Islamic culture, to rape your daughter. You see, they're kicking out of their countries their poorest, their most criminal, their most degenerate, their most mentally ill. And a bunch of 18-year-old, 20-year-old troublemaker crooks and ISIS people that folks don't want in their countries anymore. We have them posting on their Facebook. I'm here. I'm in Berlin. Look at me. I'm a jihadi. I fought. I cut a bunch of Christians' heads off. Come hang out with me, ladies. And a lot of the German women tune into trendy TV and stuff and go, absolutely. And that's the cool thing is to get, you know, beat up by a gangbanger or, uh, you know, have his name tattooed all over him and... Or, or the next best thing is to be, you know, slapped around and put in a slave pit uh, by a radical jihad. I mean, they got all these women, teenagers all over the world getting on airplanes and flooding to go be in dirt shacks and raped by over 100 men. Then, of course, they're begging for mommy and daddy after, but that doesn't happen. You just get taken out in the field and shot in the back of the head. But it's so liberal. Gloria Steinem loves it. And so is Rachel Maddow. Hey, Rachel Maddow, why don't you go over there and hang out with your little jihadi pals that little CIA Anderson Cooper promoted in the last four years as the Arab Spring run by the filthy White House. They just want to commit so many crimes openly and move the Overton window of learned helplessness and mass Stockholm Syndrome to a new normalcy bias that accepts anything these evil, sick freaks want to carry out. And you notice I've turned my rhetoric way up because I'm not going to mince words anymore. These people are unmitigated evil. I mean, I'm telling you, I've been around them. They want to hurt you and your family. You understand that? I mean, they are conquering us. And you know what? They are our rulers. When you 
are faced with scientifically crafted evil, when you are faced with social engineering, you cannot defeat it by arguing within its paradigm. You must transcend its paradigm and expose the fact that it's an artificial construct. It'd be like if they raised a baby. Some of the fathers of modern psychology did things like this. They, 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 but they would do it inside a box. Their own children to torture them and to test mind control. But imagine a baby growing up in an artificial house that was TV screens on the walls, that was an artificial reality with basically a robot that instructed the child and fed it. That person wouldn't know what planet they were on after 18 years inside that box. You could make them believe that they were a squid creature from Pluto. And basically, by increment, by successive approximation, by gradualism, we're being inserted into a giant panopticonic system that I call a proto-matrix. And I talked about a American Federation of Science report document that was declassified in 2000, reclassified in 2001. I put excerpts of it in my book, The Road to Tyranny. The film was Road to Tyranny. The book is Descent into Tyranny. Where they talked about Ending human consciousness basically as we know it and having us hook up to machines and living inside stasis pods similar to what you'd use in space travel for suspended animation to end all war and to have the biosphere funded off of our own heat. And that we would be fed intravenously by factories basically run by robots and you go wait i've seen that before it's called the matrix that came out like in 1998 1999 now i'm not saying they'll ever get us to that point and that was just darpa back in the 70s theorizing about a perfect world these are mad scientists and again they've crossed humans with animals and animals with insects they have thousands of crops that are pharmacological where corn can produce any chemical or biological agent they want. I mean, we're in Prometheus. We have the fire of the gods. But the future is not evenly distributed. And so while we're thinking the number one issue is Caitlyn Jenner, I mean, could it at least be a good-looking tranny? I mean, you know, it's it just, I mean, it, it, it is the most ridiculous garbage you could ever imagine. But if they can make us make that the national consciousness, we're not going to notice that half our neighbors have got cancer. We're not going to notice that Planned Parenthood is selling baby body parts and, 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 and groups connected with it have been caught keeping babies alive and then harvesting them. And then the conscience is so seared and people are so selfish. They're like, I don't care. As if you get ahead by not caring. The good news is, even if these hearings coming up in Congress doesn't defund it, the states are defunding Planned Parenthood. It's being exposed for what it is. The whole Margaret Sanger narrative is coming out. A lot of the left is waking up and really looking at their roots and understanding what's really happened. And there'll be more infiltrations, if not by this group, others. And as the type of investigative, hardcore journalism takes root that we've engaged in, the Veritas Project is engaged in, and others have engaged in, it will be the beginning of the end of these people. And the polls show it. Roe v. Wade, blob of tissue, 65 to 70% were for abortion in 1974, the year after Roe v. Wade. Now it's upwards of 70% are against abortion. The numbers have flipped. Again, we're gaining ground. But you have to see the horror 
of the little baby fighting for its life, about to be chopped up, about to be dissected. Is it okay because it's Planned Parenthood? What if it was Jeffrey Dahmer doing it? Then would it be bad? What if it was a big green spider sucking a baby dry? Then it'd be horrific, wouldn't it? It'd be a horror movie. But because it's our own people doing it, oh, it's okay. See, because they've made it all about women's rights. Just like it broke a year and a half ago that the vets are on a don't treat list and are having care rationed by a IBM computer called Thomas. Thomas Watson. The guy that ran the Third Reich's extermination program from New York City. Who received the highest award in Germany that no one else but him got. Because Hitler was a project of the elites in this country. And they set Hitler up. Hitler was not good, by the way. But it's beyond what they tell you. Roosevelt wouldn't take the Jews because the liberal Jewish groups in New York City said they hadn't paid a ransom to them to get out. And I've had Dr. Pachinik on, who was a Jew who lost family in Europe when they fled to Cuba. They fled to Cuba on a boat right after he was born because New York City wouldn't take him because the Jews said, you didn't pay up. Oh, is it anti-Semitic that I don't want to kill Jews? I guess it is, isn't it? If I was a real Nazi collaborator, then it would be okay if I was George Soros or Arnold Schwarzenegger that wears Nazi uniforms and says he wants to be Hitler. That's okay. But if I point out that the evil, corrupt people like George Soros, who was involved then, but people above him, robbed the Jews and sucked off the Jews and told them, you either pay a ransom or you go to Israel. And then when they said, okay, we'll go to Israel, they said, still, you're going to pay a ransom. The average ransom calculates out to $1 million today. And all the poor Jews or the middle class Jews that didn't have it, they got sent to be murdered. And then the very Jews that helped murder them sit around and create a Holocaust narrative and project it on as guilt onto the American people as the national narrative, as if we were involved in it, as if the average American that fought Hitler or whose grandfathers fought Hitler was bad. So we have to let that same Jewish mafia that helped kill the Jews with Hitler engage in all these criminal activities or we're anti-Semitic. I say feel your hand, Nazi-loving scum, and go straight to hell where you came from. You're opportunistic criminals. You're not Jews. You're an organized crime syndicate. ADL, Southern Poverty Law Center, all of you groups. No more holding back, folks. No more holding back. My family fought the Nazis. You helped them. You won't go after real Nazis. You protect them. You're scum. You're filth. You're criminals. Now let's go to the good news here. Congress starts Planned Parenthood hearings. Here it is. Recently, the nation's attention has been drawn to a series of undercover videos recorded by members of a group called the Center for Medical Progress. These videos contain discussions with representatives of the abortion-providing organization Planned Parenthood regarding the exchange of money for the body parts of unborn children to be used in research. I'm here today to share my story to not only highlight the horror of abortion taking place at Planned Parenthood, but to give a voice to other survivors like me, and most importantly, to give a name, a face, and a voice to the hundreds of thousands of children who will have their lives ended by Planned Parenthood this year alone. Planned Parenthood has been a specific target of many uh, of these types of attacks, and just since the year 2000, They've been the target of nine similar smear campaigns using hidden videos or other recordings full of innuendo and false claims. Every single time, these allegations have been thoroughly investigated and debunked. I loved Ricky Nelson and Ozzy, but their history, it's gone. It's a new America. And this hearing is about eliminating and overruling Roe v. Wade. I say, fun Planned Parenthood. It doesn't deliver abortions with federal funds. This hearing is about abortion, and I support Roe v. Wade. Another lie from Mr. Cohen. 
Planned Parenthood's on record getting federal funds for abortion. 